It's your boy Cookie Croc here, back as always, baked as shit. Alright, with the year coming to a close, I realized a majority of the games that did come out this year, I fucking slept on. I mean, I got into a few of the titles, but a lot of what I've been playing either came out last year, or deadass came out decades ago. Now, I had Wasteland 3 on my hit list for quite a while now, it's just, I've been so fucking busy with all that stupid life shit to even get to it. But now, finally, I've gotten some time into the game, so I'm ready to share with you guys my adventure through it. Now, I know this game is a little bit old, uh, two months old to be exact, and Call of Duty and a lot of other games are coming out right now, so why am I touching this one? Uh, because fuck it, it's gonna be a good video. Now, we get to choose between characters that the game makes for us, or characters that we want to make on our own. Of course, I made my own, and I spent nearly like a half hour on stream doing this. The two products that I came up with was Harold, of course, the beloved hooligan from our Kenshi series and many other games, along with, a. Uh, a little ramnition of myself. My favorite part about creating the characters has to be the background story part. You get to choose a background story for the characters, and a lot of them are just fucking mint. Luckily, they had a stoner background story, so I'd be able to really be immersed in this universe of the Wasteland 3. And after getting everything done, we begin the game. We see a cutscene where we're sort of driving somewhere with all the boys, and then shit goes really bad. All the boys are on the floor fucking exploding, it's not going well. This is when we finally get into the combat of a game, and it's very nice that right when everybody on our team dies, the uh, giant turret with fucking missiles just pops out of nowhere for us to use. Like, why couldn't I be there like fucking 10 seconds before? We just lost like a whole goddamn platoon of men. Because this fucking turret, like what, did it take three turns for the turret to get set up? No fucking way! Now we begin to explore the area of Wasteland 3 and get to know the sort of uh, inhabitants that are near. Some of these guys, they like to wear deer heads on their heads, and I found one of them dancing in a corpse. Bitch, but I know you already heard. No tits, no ass, your bitch is a nerd. Ice pop 30 puppers. My <laughs> Pretty fucked up, you know, it's a real grimy ass fucking wasteland following this we run into that same person's group and actually talk them out of killing a girl named jody and giving her back to us now if you haven't realized already this game's a little bit inspired off of a fallout games so like fallout one and two not the more fucking hemorrhoid offsprings that have been of the recent installments the combat in this game also depends a lot on the difficulty you choose when beginning the game myself whenever i start a game i like to go for the difficulty like one above normal when I really should be playing the difficulty that's like easy mode or one below. It only took a few times to get through all of them. And then after that, we get to meet sort of their leader. This guy's named Jarrett, and he's obviously a fucking psychopath. He's shooting off goddamn rocket launchers like he's in a Zillakami music video. Luckily, though, the, some member of a FaZe clan was chilling nearby or something, so we ended up no-scoping him out of nowhere. Holy shit! 360 no-scope. Jarrett! Making the battle a little bit easier. We go through them, and then we go over and loot everyone first before we go and help the person who uh, helped us, you know, because that's how this world works. Now, after talking to this guy, we found out he's a bit injured, and uh, me being the uneducated crocodile that I am, did I just fucking mispronounce that? Me being who I am, I read euthanize, and I thought that was a medical term for, like, heal or something. <laughs> It's not a medical term for you. <laughs> Fucking gave him a red pill or something. I don't know. He just exploded in front of us. So that was pretty tragic. But moving on, we go to a new location where we meet a man by the name of a patriarch. He had a prisoner who I'm guessing we could have recruited if we could have passed the skill check. But we didn't. So we just watched a man fucking slaughter him. <laughs> we learned that the location we're at right now. This is going to be our little base of operations. Only problem is that we need to clear out the security robots first. Now, luckily, because uh, I had the sneaky shit skill, yeah, that's an actual fucking skill in the game, sneaky shit. <laughs> because I had that a little bit upgraded, we were able to get through a speech check with the robots, so they were completely fooled, thinking they were going to get an upgrade. Patriarch comes back to tell us that, basically, he has three children. All three of them have, like, ran away from him, and are now trying to build an uprising against him, <laughs> or at least he thinks so. So he wants us to go handle it and bring back his children alive. All these missions, though, vary from the range of level 9 to 19, and we're only, like, level 2 right now. So obviously, we're gonna have to do some more story stuff and get into the game. Now, the first place that we can actually go to is a place called Colorado Springs, and we need to talk to the sheriff there named Daisy. But once arriving in Colorado Springs, we notice a huge group of people standing around a bunch of people on these sort of wooden poles 
that are out in a freezing cold, tied up naked. There we could see an upset mother who explained to us that basically your son got involved with all these people and did some kind of crime and now he's gonna die for it via dick freeze off. Now I had nothing better to do so I figured might as well go check it out, see what he did. Turns out the guy only broke a fucking window and he's getting a death sentence via dick freeze. This hit a different type of spot for me as there was once upon a time that I was arrested for breaking a window. But I didn't have to get fucking deaf via dick freeze off, okay? I just had to pay a fine. So I, I really sympathized with this one's story, you know? We had to help him out for sure. We couldn't let him die like the rest. Talking to the magistrate of the place, he tells us that it's only going to cost 200 Colorado dollars to buy his life, basically. Which is fucking insane, because if you convert that in today's time, that's basically the same amount that I had to pay dead ass to get my case dropped. It, only thing is, I probably would have only had to go to like juvie or like a bunch of classes or something. This guy has to get his fucking dick frozen off, that sucks. We didn't have $200 though, so I know I just have to go around the town basically looking for any damsels in distress. And right away, luckily, we'd end up finding a man and his wife arguing outside of storefront. Now the man and his wife were arguing because there was a group of bandits that were taking hold in their store. Now the only problem is, is that the one old man versus all the bandits, he's probably gonna die. So we offer the wife, hey, we can go take care of it for you, no worries. So after doing that and getting rid of the bandits that were inside, we're rewarded to a little bit of cash, a discount at the store, as well as some good reputation for the town. Overall, this quest is just pretty cool as a little side quest, but I do like how the rewards aren't only just X amount of items or X amount of cash, you know, you get a little reputation, a little discount at the store. Things could have gone way different how we just let the old bloke run in there on his own. After this, I decided to head to the sheriff's office, that way we could finally talk to Daisy, find out what she wanted from us. Apparently, there's a whole situation with people letting these bandits into the town, so she wants us to get to the bottom of it. She gives us another recruit named Lucia, and we go off on our way. Now, no one really likes the cut of this girl's jib, myself included, she's not really cool. But, um, other than that, you know, we kind of need the recruit and need the extra help as we had to take on two more groups of the Dorsey clan before heading to the giant group of rich kids. Now, it was these rich kids that were supposedly involved in this whole fucking shenanigan. So, I decided to arrest them and send them to the town, which gave us some good reputation and continued us into the quest. This is like really the creme de la creme of quests as it involves a nightclub, one of my favorite places in games. Now, she kind of thinks that the leader or or owner of a nightclub is some kind of crime or bad guy <laughs> can't fucking be in this dark ass butthole of a landscape that is the wasteland 3 the only man who comes up to start up his own empire of strippers and prostitutes i can't believe that man has ill will no 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 and now it's funny in the nightclub there's a lot of different things like one of the guys that's guarding one of the doors is standing there and he straights up tells us that a, uh, he's guarding the computer because if anyone tampers with it, it could set the whole place of flames. And that he'll only leave his station if a fight breaks out. Like, what the fuck do we look like, the fun police? We are here to fucking get fucked up! Talking to one of the pimps known as Ken Dahl. He's named that because he got his wiener chopped off by the owner, supposedly. The owner isn't a bad guy. Ken Dahl tells us about all the different prostitutes that they have, which are very cleverly named all the way from uh, Ten of Hearts to king and queen of hearts even a joker other than that though i mean we get told that the guy we're looking for for the quest is in the back room but that's not as exciting or interesting <laughs> my favorite has to be the prostitute that sits near the bar her she walks around a place acting like an army sergeant shouting out commands and stuff and then her name is private parts <laughs> Wow, man, whoever put that into the game, give that guy a raise. He's on his shit. <laughs> now, basically, the leader of the nightclub told us that we have to go and find this other person that's a part of the nightclub that is actually behind the whole ordeal. It's not the guy who we think. So we have to go there and take him out. After taking care of that and arresting him, we're able to go back to the nightclub and talk to Brygan again. Holy, holy fuck. Brygan again, that's a fucking mouthful. But as we're trying to leave the nightclub, a group of the city's marshals showed up claiming that they were going to shoot up the place and basically they wanted our help 
or we had to fight them as well. Like I already said, I am not the fucking fun police, but I will fight them. We had to get into a huge shootout inside of a nightclub with the city marshals. Unfortunately, during this battle, we had the tragic loss of Private Parts. She was shot and killed in action. Rest in peace, Private Parts. There will never be another prostitute like you. But once all the party poopers were taken care of, we were able to go back to Sheriff Daisy and tell her exactly what happened. To which she immediately starts dismissing us, acting like we're in the wrong. Now, maybe we are, and maybe we got tricked by the nightclub owner and all of his strippers, but... I'm gonna pick their side over the boring ass side of the fucking marshals and who Daisy like come on Okay, fuck them. I say it's all right We don't get the city's help But at least we do have a nightclub helping us and we're gonna be at our headquarters helping us Build like while we may be assisting in a criminal enterprise It's just a lot better than uh, I guess like freezing people's dicks off and that was the first little bit of wasteland 3 for me I think this game's pretty dope I might end up making more videos on it and more of the adventures and tales that Harold goes through in this game with me. It's pretty jokes and it's pretty good. If you liked the video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment, and all that. You can follow me on Twitter, TikTok, Discord, all that shit. Links are in the description. I appreciate all the support you guys have been leaving on the previous videos. I know these are taking a lot longer to get out than most of my videos, but I'm going to try and work on a better schedule eventually. Anyway, though, hope you guys all have a good one and peace.